Hey there, YouTube. Welcome to another edition of Shack Hack. And this week's hack is a fun one, but it does show a bit about how much of a noob I am to ham radio. So it starts with a story. Uh, it's getting a little warm here in Arizona this time of year, and the shack was a little bit toasty. And I wanted to jump on the local two meter net, uh, but and it was real nice out on the patio. So I say, hey, no problem. I'll grab my uh, FT60 and uh, get out on the patio, enjoy the weather, have a little beverage, and uh, join the net. Well, when I went to check in, I found out this little HT couldn't reach the repeater, and I didn't realize that repeater was 20 miles away. Um, I had no problem hitting with the 991 here, um, with the antenna way up on the roof and all the power it has. I said, man, if I can only uh, have my HT talk to the 991 and get it over there. And then I thought, well, we could do that. I just finished this, uh, this boom mic cable in the last hack with a, a little microphone input and a PTT switch. I said, what if I just plug an old Baofeng mic output or speaker output into my uh, mic input and use that? Well, I said, that ought to work. And I was telling a friend about that, and he goes, well, that's like a crossband repeater. Oh, I didn't know that. I made it anyway, because 991 doesn't have crossband repeating, and I wasn't going to buy a radio to crossband repeat just to sit out on the patio and chew on the local net. Now, these Baofangs are 20 bucks for two, so pretty darn cheap. Uh, they're a UHF radio. I think they're supposed to be FRS, but you can program them. So uh, I got a Baofang uh, speaker adapter here. Can't really plug it directly into this guy because this is expecting a microphone input and this is a speaker output so I'm sure there's a little bit of uh, amplification on that so probably maybe a volt output and a microphone input should be running in the millivolt range. In order to do that uh, we had a little bit of hacking going on so I made uh, a little experiment here and uh, basically it's a voltage divider circuit so you see here's the mic input uh, going to the rj45 and here's the input from the speaker that plugs in here and basically just a little voltage divider circuit and i got a cap because sometimes there'll be a, a dc voltage on on some radios on the output on a line out there may be some dc so I just put a cap in there to block the dc and this is about 100 ohm and i think i got a uh 100k ohm resistor so it's really attenuating the signal and this should really cut well about a one percent of that so it'll take uh, one volt down to one millivolt around that okay let's test it out here so what i did is i took my standard uh channel programming for the repeater and then i just basically changed the the offset um, instead of transmitting on the normal uh, repeater offset, uh, I changed it to a split and it's listening on the repeater frequency and transmitting uh, on the same frequency I set the Baofeng up to. If you see as I key up here, we're receiving on the Baofeng here and then sending the signal on. So that's working. And because I don't have the PTT hooked up, I am setting the 991 to uh, Vox and we'll see how that works. I may look at um, getting in here and basically intercepting the signal that's lighting up this uh, LED. And um, if I use that LED, throw that into a switch or a little transistor switch and have that latch up the, the PTT, that may, may work better. I, I haven't used Vox yet, but we're gonna see how it works. Okay, over at the radio now, got the Baofeng. Um, hooked up through the uh, earphone jack or headset jack, um, attenuated into the mic input, and I have my HT um, programmed, or the, the FT60 here, to program to listen to the repeater. So I, I can, the repeater hits me just fine on the patio, but I can't hit it. So I have the split or the offset programmed differently, so it'll transmit on the Baofeng uh, channel frequency that I programmed in. Uh, I'm only going to do this on uh, net when I'm out on the patio. So the idea is I can listen on the patio with my HT and then um, when I hit it back 
I will use low power to hit the Balfang. Balfang will trigger the Yesu, and uh, I can have 50 watts on my main antenna that's uh, you know 30 feet in the air um, and hit it just fine. Probably don't even need 50 watts to hit it. Um, so if we see right now, if I key up the mic, the Balfang should trigger. Testing, testing, one, two, three. So you can see the green light uh, illuminates, so it's receiving. Um, it's not transmitting on the 991 um, because you have to set the box. Since I don't have a PTT circuit hooked up, we're going to set it in the box setting. And what that'll do is it'll detect the audio signal coming in on the mic and then uh, trigger the transmitter. And uh, then the signal will get out. Um, got this on a, a simplex frequency. I got an HT in the other room. We'll listen to it. Uh, let's give this a try. KK7JXG testing. JXG testing, testing simplex. This is standard mic, standard mic. KK7 JXG testing simplex. And there you have it. Uh, this was sort of a fun little project. It let me learn a little bit more about my radio. Uh, it was fun. All right, that's all I had. Take it easy, YouTube. See ya.